Hey guys, in this video I will be replacing my whole sump pump setup. This sump pump system was installed by the previous owner and some of the components no longer work. The system looks like it's pretty beat up. All the metal parts are already rusted. The main reason why I'm replacing the sump pump is due to the amount of water that returns when the sump pump finishes a cycle. After the sump pump pushes the water out, you can hear a lot of the water returning. The backup sump pump also doesn't work anymore. Here's an example of what happens after each pump cycle. You can hear a lot of the water returning and this causes the sump pump to run again every 5 to 10 minutes. I purchased the Wayne WSS30VN sump pump with backup sump pump system from Amazon. I decided to go with this system because it was Amazon's choice and there were plenty of good reviews. This sump pump here will come with everything you need except for the battery. This system cost me $450. It's always a good idea to inspect everything as you unbox expensive products. Everything was packaged pretty well. I didn't see any damages on either of these two boxes. In this smaller box, you'll find the container for the battery backup. This box will also contain the DC adapter for the battery backup container. The bigger and heavier box will contain the sump pump and the backup sump pump. Included is the one and a quarter inch PVC piping and the check valve. everything from the new sump pump checked out. Now it's time to disassemble the old sump pump.
be careful when you are removing the old sump pump. I got lazy and thought I could just lift the whole system by lifting the PVC pipe. I had to reach down and lift the sump pump by its hand. Time to remove the old hardware from the PVC pipe. Some of the screws were too corroded to remove with the flathead screw. Here's a size comparison of the old sump pump system and the new one. It's time to install the new sump pump. Make sure you thoroughly clean the sump and remove any debris such as rust metal, bugs, and small dead animals. Start by lifting the new sump pump system by the handle and slowly lowering it into the sump. Make sure the sump pump sits completely flat at the bottom of the sump. When you install the check valve, make sure the arrow is pointing up. This arrow indicates the direction the water will flow when the sump pump runs. After installing the check valve, I found out that the old PVC pipe will not work with the new sump pump. It 
was too long and needed to be cut. If I cut it by the three-way split, the PVC piping becomes too short. I measured the old PVC pipe to have a better estimate of the length I'll need for the new PVC pipe. Here is the new PVC pipe. Start by connecting the PVC pipe to the sump pump first. Now connect the new PVC pipe to the discharge pipe. Now zip tie the sump pump wires to the new PVC pipe.
After the sump pump has been installed, it's time to hook up the sump pump to the backup battery system. Check all the wire sockets to make sure none of them are loose. Make sure the positive and negative connectors are also not loose. Connect the AC adapter to the backup battery container lid. Each of these wire sockets will only fit its corresponding wire socket. If it doesn't fit, it is not the correct socket. Now connect one of the two sump pump wires to the backup battery container lid. Connect the last sump pump wire to the backup battery container lid. Carefully lift the battery and insert it slowly into the battery container. Now it's time to connect the battery to the battery container lid. Start by connecting the negative black wire first. Connect the red positive wire to the battery. When you connect the red positive wire to the battery, a red LED light should light up from the battery container lid. This indicates that the system is on battery backup. Now finish tightening the red wire to the battery. Make sure the backup battery lid is not installed upside down. Test the battery backup by pressing the little red trigger on the side of the battery backup container lid.
After confirming the backup battery system is functioning correctly, connect the AC adapter to a wall power outlet. The backup battery red LED light should no longer be on. Test the loss of electric power alert by unplugging the AC adapter. Fill the sump with some water and test the main sump pump. Check the floater on the sump pump and make sure the trigger connected to the floater is in the up position. This will run the sump pump when you plug the power cord into a power outlet. While the sump pump is installed, carefully lift the floater until the trigger connected to the floater is in the up position. Once you are satisfied from the results of testing the sump pump, clean the area around the sump pump Put the sump pump lid back on and tie down any loose wires.